Hey, how you doing, stranger? No, they sent me a very nice note basically saying thanks, but we don't accept unsolicited manuscripts. No, I'm fine. Really? Oh, no, dear. I'm afraid I cannot join you today. No, I'm just out of the shower and on my way out the door. I overslept a bit. Another rough night with Alex. That's very sweet of you, though. It's Thursday, and Eileen is coming over. Well, not entirely. I'll tell you about it another time. No, I'm off to Sissy's place. It's Thursday. Can we get together early next week? Oh, that would be wonderful. I'll call you on Sunday and we'll make arrangements for lunch. I'll call you on Sunday and make a plan, okay? Okay. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, Astrid is fine, completely in remission. Not to worry. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't want to do this right now. I told you, I'll meet you after work tonight. <sighs> can't this wait? No, I can't. I'm on my way to Sissy's. I'll see you tonight. Goodbye. <gasps> Eileen, is that you? Sure is. I'm not opening this door until... I have the manor wafers. Where are they? Right here. Oh. Now you may enter. How are you this week? I thought of you when I saw the footage of that storm in Skagen. Is that how you say it? Close enough. And aren't you sweet? Nothing to worry about, though. Astrid has a way of being in Italy or somewhere exotic like that when something happens at home. Or even when something happens 150 miles from home. What's the matter, dear? Not a thing. Why do you ask? Young lady, I may be blind, but I can see right through you. I hear it in your voice. Ah, well then, it's not a big thing. Alex and I had a bit of a row last night. Guess I'm a little unsettled. I see. It's nothing a half carrot won't fix. There you go. Thank you, dear. My pleasure. Where do you want to start today? Uh, I suppose we should do the bills, eh? If you insist. Did you bring people this time? I did not. Oh. I brought entertainment now. Mm. Guilty pleasures both. Who's on the cover? Uh, Hollywood's high school yearbook. Oh, that's not very helpful. But do read on.
Okay, enough of this nonsense. Let's get to the good stuff, if there is any. Well, Sissy, there is something here with a Copenhagen postmark, but... In that case, not another word from you that isn't my dearest Sissy. I live for my sister's letters. I know. My dearest sissy, you know, the only reason I write in English is because of that Irish girl you have enslaved. She must have the patience of a saint to still be with you these years later. She clearly loves you very much to put up with all your nonsense and your continuing insistence on reading that rubbish which passes for news over there. Things here are as they ever are. I feel considerably better than when last I wrote. The stay in hospital did wonders for me, and with the wig on, no one knows, save my nurse, whose patience with me is astounding. She's taken me to the country for a week with her family. She really is very kind to me. So look for more news from there. Please write soon so I have something to read when I get home. Sissy, I love you dearly and trust you are well. Please don't spend a minute worrying about me. I will be fine. Every doctor in Copenhagen says so. As always, give my love to Eileen. Until next week, love, Astrid. Well, Sissy, I have to head to work now. As always, a fine time was had by all. I will see you next Thursday. Unless, unless someone, someone publishes, publishes my novel, novel this week. week. <laughs> I will see you next week. And we can write Astrid back. Yes, you will see me next week. Thank you again for everything. You take such good care of me. My pleasure. Tough.